hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is jenny so guys today's video or rather this picture you are seeing right here um he is the founder and general overseer of living faith church worldwide some like in nigeria we know it as winners chapel international so his name is bishop david oyadebo guys pandora newspaper exposed pastor bishop david oyadebo and his family they are the latest pastors to be exposed in the pandora papers investigation if you don't know pandora papers investigation they are just they um as in different kinds of journalists they came together to investigate all these rich people like they have a link of almost 12 million documents that reveals hidden wealth task avoidance um, and in some cases money laundry by some of the world richest and powerful people so they they are just trying to find out their source of wealth where they hide their wealth and all that so that is their work then let's get back to the main gist see back let's flash back to 2014 bishop oyadipo was banned from entering united kingdom i think maybe maybe some of all those his members are not even aware or some people are not even aware that bishop oyadipo cannot enter united kingdom he was banned since 2014 ask me his offense so um his offense is linked uh, link with um task fraud or something you know in the uk you know all these there are churches that is um they you know they register their churches in form of charity like some people in uk that register their church they will collect some donation from church in the uk and they will they will say they are taking it to africa to go and give to the widows the orphans the less privileges blah 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 nothing they are not doing anything they will just get the money and you know pocket it so the reports have it that oyadipo's church you know oyadipo has different branches of his church both in us in uk in nigeria in other other african countries in the world so the uk um his church um received 16.7 millions in donation from followers who told who, who we are told that um god will give them riches in return so you know you know there is a way Oyibo people does their own thing it's, just, it's not like we um nigerian that don't have enough things to you know they don't set up tasks for all these rich pastors and rich all these rich churches you know so the thing is that all the money that we are made the money the, he pockets the money you know so now they said uk um charity commission um they set up investigation but before that before the inv investigation they banned him from entering uk since 2014 and they also won all the airline that anybody that you know he has a private jet that anybody that carried him or anyone that allows him to enter uk will pay 2000 euros who wants to pay 2000 euros for something that does not consign you so that was why he was banned he was he will collect all those money billions of millions of um euros and will pocket it let me shock you guys on the 10th of um october pandora pandora newspaper released something released something let me read what they wrote they wrote um findings from the rasaking of pandora's newspaper a group of millions of leaked files from offshore services firms have allegedly revealed that bishop david ayadebo set up a family offshore company in the british virgin islands the cleric had in august 2007 hired a london-based firm business Satorium limited to help him set up a company in the task haven task haven is just like when you want to open a business and you avoiding to pay tax task haven so he set up his business and um, through this um through this um company to avoid 
paying tax. So let's move on. The London firm in subcontracted Trinidad Trust Group. Then, um, in 20th August 2007, the Oyodipo family company was set up and named Zadok, Zadok Investment Limited. It was established with 50,000 ordinary shares with a value of one dollar each. Do you know what that means? Then let's read on. Then the online newspaper, which is one of several media organization activities involved in the founding, said that Oyadipo and his two sons, David Jr. and Azik, are directors of the company why member of the Oyadipo family is listed as shareholders. All you guys that is calling him Daddy G G O, did you see your name there? Money Mata now he has put his family name as directors and as shareholders. Let's read on. The document, its further report, did not review the exact businesses and transaction the offshore company was set up to conduct. The company is believed to be the family's investment vehicle under which its wealth is warehoused for offshore management. The newspaper believed the company was still active as recently as 2016, according to documents. Listen, Oyadipo and wife Faith holds 30% of the shares each why their sons have 10 percent each oyadipo's daughters love and joy have 10 percent each guys you can imagine this pastor used to come out to preach about um why is all the why why do you want to get all the riches in the world what matters is heaven blah 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 and waiting the Pay me be say the poor masses wait there for this church. Now them they contribute money pass. You understand? Now them they contribute their peanuts. You see people that they don't have money because their mindset, because their brain has been washed. They will tell them that um give all you have that God will multiply it. I know it works, but how can a widow, how can someone that is poor, how can someone that cannot even eat, you have only 200 naira in your pocket and because your pastor has been washed you and said, when you give all you have, when you give, you receive, you know, you carry your own 200 naira to go and give a pastor that has, has offshore business, that has offshore business, all you that is calling him that the G.O. that did this one. He did not even put you guys' name. Oh. He not even remember any of you now. He be washing your brains. Imagine, he has private jets. Like, guys, one day, walk into all these big churches. Even if they want to, um, even if um, one chair in their church broke, pastor cannot even bring out money to buy another chair. Pastor will start asking for donation. And that those poor members will be the people. Those poor members will be the people to pay. They will be the people to pay. You know? And pastor keep on enriching himself and his family. What I want to even ask is, this pastor is how many years old? What, as in, is he going to go with all these riches? Why not him try to give to all these poor people in his church? Have you gone to Winner's Chapel before? You will see them, they will dress in coats all these adam coats all these old school coats see them wear old ties trying to strangle themselves in the name of their they, they, are, they are wearing tie but inside their pocket she she nothing they don't have anything can you imagine in nigeria they have like two million branches of churches in nigeria two million if these two million churches are companies in nigeria i wonder how much i wonder how People will be crying for hunger. No borders, and there will be a lot of work in Nigeria. Imagine two million companies in Nigeria added to the ones, the little ones they have. But no, what we have is two million churches, and these pastors keep enriching themselves, keep making their families rich. 
keep making their great 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 grandchildren richer and richer and their members are going poorer and poorer you can imagine sometimes all these pastors will tell their members if you use your car you can use your car you can use your house you can use anything to sow seed i'm not after someone paying tight but the bible made it that before you pay tight let's assume you um you have fifty thousand you give fifty percent but in a situation whereby minimum wage of nigeria is not even up to that but you'll be taxing people you see golly people they will tell them if you give this car out god will bless you you see they'll give their cars out for tight one year another car never come they are still trekking from their house to church you know inside the scorching sun you understand what i mean they will just be brainwashing them you know like you can imagine a pastor being involved in this kind of thing abacha's name is in that pandora paper imagine a pastor's name is there because he did not declare all these shows or he did not declare all these companies they are just um covering themselves with um um their church name you know they just um using the name church pastor to cover all their atrocities to cover all their crimes tell me the difference between politicians and these pastors can you tell me the difference politicians we embezzle our government money government and uh, money made for the poor money made for the country money made for the states money made for the youth money made for ordinary citizens they will embezzle the money and pocket it you see pastor we use sweet mouth on author we come to the church talk and talk and talk and brainwash all members and they will put offering donate do tight and pastor will pocket the money for his personal and family use so what are you telling me what is the difference between these pastors and these churches and on these politicians there is no difference between two of them so what i'm trying to tell you guys that are these church goers i'm not saying that you should not go to church i myself i go to church but my brain is still intact nobody can use me or nobody can force me to pay tight and nobody can brainwash me to pay tight but you see all these ones you see you see after this video now they will come you see them they will come and be dropping some nasty comments because their brain has been washed with the word of god my brother your brain they don't wash your brain with word of god though they wash them with a eh, word of money they just suck 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 your head they just use sponge wash your head do you know the word of this white white um suit this man wears do you know the word most of them might be thinking oh he has only one suit like like he has many of them he's just wearing all this white to um to prove to you guys that it's nothing like that he just likes to wear white my brother this one suit can pay your children's school fees for six years this one suit this pastor is wearing can pay your children's school fees for six years or more than but we are here instead of you to go and hustle morning night afternoon you are in the church sh shouting my enemy die 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 who who you want kill yeah instead of you to go and walk instead of you to go and do something that will better your life your pastor will tell you you have crusade you have 21 days fasting to do you will leave your work be sleeping in the church you, you guys don't know that that church you are going is pastor's office he's making his own money he's already in his church making his daily living and you you leave your market you leave your business to come and be shouting fire 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 inside the church give all the money you have some of you you when you get home you 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 don't even have something to eat but your last card you give it in church because you believe that when you give it your pastor has told you that when you give it it will multiply brother oh sister they they wash your hair though you better use your hair though you don't see i'm say your pastor now one of the richest you know these people started this investigation way back 2014 you can imagine it's not even up to today and you can imagine when this man set up this business since 2000 august 20 2007 so i believe you guys have understand what i meant i don't mean to say that there is 
miracle does not work i don't mean to talk down on church what i mean to say that if you are worshiping god and you don't help your poor church members you know you don't help poor people you have and you can't give people that don't have you call yourself a pastor you'll be acquiring all the riches in the whole world and you you can walk on the street you see poor people you see people that hardly eat once in a day and you can't even do something about it instead you even go ahead to preach to that poor people and be telling them to give offering who does that if not somebody that that is greedy pastor especially african pastors nigerian pastors they are very greedy they are just pocketing their their they are just in they are just loading their pockets in the name of their preaching the word of god when jesus was um on was preaching jesus no get house so jesus can sleep anywhere but you see all these pastors Oh yeah now come to their church crusade ground you see bodyguards everywhere police if truly you are serving a living god what's the need of you going around with um bodyguards police and all escorts all the whole escorts in the whole world you know i think people should just wake up people should just wake up and know that you know you can even be in your house and pray to god god will answer you I'm not saying going to church is very bad, but use your sense. That money you are, you are going there to give to all those rich pastors, enter inside the street and share it to the poor people. They will appreciate it more. They will pray for you instead of you like um, going to... It's just like you go inside the ocean. When you get to the ocean, you now, from your house, you carried the little water, your own drinking water, to the ocean and pour it inside the ocean. You can imagine what that's what that means you know you carry water from your house to go and drop inside the ocean ocean big ocean i, I think you can use your teeth you can use your tongue and count your teeth redress concentrate on your business if you give your business on um, 85 percent attention you are giving to your pastors and this your churches you see your business will grow very well and you will not regret it members of winners chapel open your eyes members of all these pentecostal churches both catholic pentecostal anglican anyone do not let them to use your head give to god when you have don't give because someone is forcing you to donate. When you give wholeheartedly, eh, God will bless you. Not that because somebody say you should give all you have, you go and pack the money that your family are supposed to use and eat. Let me tell you, even if you die today, your pastor will continue his church. Even if hunger kill you today because you carried all your money to go and give your pastor, church will still continue. You understand? So... I don't know. I think I'm ranting too much. But in essence, what I'm trying to say is all these pastors should stop. When you people stop giving these pastors money, eh, you will see they will humble themselves. Let's take a look at people in diaspora. If you come to abroad, eh, would you have time to be going from, church, from one church to another every day without working? When you remember that you pay your bills, when you remember that you pay your tax, when you remember that um, you pay your water bills, your light bills, monthly, not even yearly, nobody will tell you to just grab your, your ass to go to work. Not a grown-up man and woman, men and women we wake up in the morning rush and go to church that the go that is doing program you will stay there till morning and till morning from morning till night when you get home now jesus will serve you food as your servant now see if you know work you know go chop you better work that place where they go say now your partner your church now your pastor office so your pastor is genuinely making his own money now from your head, now from your pocket where your pastor, they make that money. But if my sister, my brother, if you get sense, start the work now. No allow your pastor, may your pastor, they use your brain to make money in the name of say, Jesus said you should give all you have. May they no deceive you, my brother. Open your eye, shine your eye. Now this season be this, shine your eye, I beg. I don't come off for a year. <laughs>